In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the Silhouette effect here in DaVinci Resolve. In After Effects, you can activate something called a track mat. DaVinci Resolve has that, but you have to do a roundabout way to set it up in the edit page. I have four tracks on my timeline. I'm going to re-enable them one at a time. So the first track is actually my masked out subject. The second track is this star cluster. The third track is an alpha mat, and I'll show you how to make that. And the fourth track is actually just the original clip. Now, a quick note, I rotoscoped out my subject utilizing magic mask. When doing so, I usually increase the blur radius in order to soften the mask. If you're using magic mask to perform this effect, leave the blur radius at zero and render it in place. The reason for that, it will actually create this kind of like halo effect around your subject that you don't want in the effect. You want to highlight your second clip, go into your inspector tab, go to composite. Composite is normally set to, well, normal. Go hit the drop down menu and drop all the way down to the bottom. These are all your alpha mat settings or track mat settings, I'm sorry. And you're gonna change this to foreground. For this effect to work, you need the third clip in your stack here to be a copy of your mask layer. My mask layer, once again, is the first layer. I make a copy of it by holding Alt on the keyboard, dragging it down to the third layer, and then go into the color page. Now in the color page, you'll have my rotoscope layer. What you wanna do is take the alpha output here and connect it to the green input here. That's gonna turn this into an alpha mat. Now back on the edit page, with this being an alpha mat, you go into inspection tab on the composite. Once again, you change this instead of a foreground, you're gonna change this to alpha. Now, if you actually cut off the top layer and activate the middle layer, you get the silhouette effect. Now all this here is the alpha background. So if you go back down here to the bottom on the fourth layer, hit D to re-enable, you get the background. We're gonna go back into the first clip here and I'm just gonna go into fusion and we're gonna animate that. Actually, I'm gonna re-enable it first. And then we're gonna animate the first layer. Now in Fusion, I'm actually hold Control and zoom out a little bit. Then I'm gonna go into the toolbar and grab a transform node. I'm gonna go into the inspector tab under the first frame, frame zero, and I'm gonna activate the keyframe on the center at center X and Y axis. I'm gonna go to frame 12, and then I'm gonna drop the Y axis down. I'm gonna go to frame 13, and I'm gonna move the center axis over. I'm gonna go to frame 14, bring up the Y axis. And then I'm gonna skip to frame, I'm gonna skip to frame 20, give them about five to six frames in between. I'm gonna set another keyframe on the center axis to keep it flat lined. And then I'm gonna skip another four or five frames and go to frame 25. I'm gonna go back to the inspector tab, right click on center and set the default. And that's gonna give you your animation. I'm gonna go into the spline editor, of course. Click on transform one. I'm gonna zoom to fit so I can see. Click here to select all. I'm gonna right click and oh, I'm gonna right click, go to ease. I'm gonna ease in. I'm gonna deselect and then I'm gonna select the last two. Right click and then I'm gonna select ease out. I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard on the ease in. I'm gonna move it up a little bit to about 50, well, I'll leave about at 45. Then of course from there, you're gonna go into settings, motion blur, and activate your motion blur. And that's the silhouette effect. If you like these shorter but more detailed videos, make sure you drop a comment down below and hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.